Um, so, scene graph. Uh, the scene graph is just like the display list. Um, we've been through that. There's a few differences. Um, you can nest object container 3Ds much in the same way that you can uh, nest display object containers. But uh, if you're used to working with Flash, you're probably used to nesting uh, lots of display objects uh, down quite deeply and having loads of them there. There's uh, Because you're moving in a third dimension and you've got an awful lot of points in your meshes, um, the overheads on nesting loads and loads of object container 3Ds are much higher than you might expect. Uh, Away 3D does um, contain some rather nice tools to get around that. Um, I, I might go into that a little bit later. Um, so you've got to watch out for that. Also, because you're working on stage 3D and not on the flash display list, uh, you're going to have problems with mouse interactivity. It's not as easy as I was hoping at all. Um, so uh, quite a lot of the time, I would, uh, for instance, if I want something to, to react to a mouse over, I will, uh, I'll just wrap it in an invisible sphere and add the mouse detection to the sphere because otherwise, uh, otherwise it has um, uh, it has performance overheads and uh, it's it's slightly glitchy. So <coughs> um, here's uh, here's the uh, display classes you get with with Away 3D. Everything pretty much derives from um, object container 3D. Uh, Entity is an abstract class. Uh, which everything else inherits from. Um, you can instantiate your own object container 3D, and you can instantiate all your main display classes. You can't instantiate ent entity at all. Um, Sprite 3D is is what they call a billboard in the 3D world. It always points towards the camera. It's just like a 2D sprite, only it moves around uh, the 3D universe um, with perspective and everything else, just like any other 3D object would. Um, <coughs> Because they're not vectors, they, again, don't behave quite like you might expect. Um, mesh is your fundamental object. It's a bunch of vector points. Um, meshes contain sub-meshes. Um, uh, this is where it gets slightly more complicated. The geometry is just the raw um, geometric data. Um, and geometries um, inherit from, uh, uh, sorry, meshes contain geometries. Now, you, the mesh contains the transformation matrix, position in 3D space. Uh, it also contains the material. Now, the reason you've got um, a mesh contains sub-mesh is you might think it would be much, much more um, simple if a mesh just contained a geometry. But um, the problem is, uh, natively, a, a mesh can only contain one material. So if you want your little hero guy to be wearing a red coat and green trousers, uh, you can't do it. So the easiest way is you have him as a mesh, and the coat is a sub-mesh, and the trousers are a sub-mesh, and then you can apply different materials to both of them. That's kind of the way it thinks. Camera 3D, again, it, it is a display object. It sits within the scene graph, think display list. And um, it moves around in the 3D world. You can do everything you want to it that you can do to any other object container 3D. You can even, because it inherits from object container 3D, you can also, of course, um, uh, add um, add children to it. Uh, that's another little away 3D thing. Uh, you can add child to an object container 3D. They didn't give it add child 3D or anything. You've got to remember that it's a 3D thing. You're not working on the display list, but you just you just call add child on it because they've just tried to um, duplicate as much as they can the uh, functionality of flash. Uh, light base is, is the, uh, there's actually a couple of extra classes in here. There are only two lights in um, Away 3D. There's point light and directional light. Uh, point light is um, is a very attractive way of lighting. It's like having a bulb on the scene. Uh, it's got distance uh, and it produces nice, uh, smooth, speculous shading on surfaces. Um, directional light is much cheaper um, in, in terms of processing, and it's like having the sun. It's just uh, that all the lines are parallel. It doesn't do nice hot spots and, and specular shading or anything like that. Um, so normally, you'd light a scene with a combination of directional light and point light. Uh, I know Away 3D 3.6 had a plethora of types of lights you could use, as far as I remember, and it's just been knocked down to two that work very well. 